It's only been a few weeks since the Bitcoin ETFs went live, and we're seeing some crazy amounts of inflows, mostly from institutional investors. What do you think this is gonna do to the Bitcoin price? Well, I have a chart right here, which is only from a few of the OTC over-the-counter trading desks, so it doesn't encapsulate the entire market, but you can see between these couple desks that are captured by this glass node chart that there's not much supply left with these desks. So as the hundreds of millions of dollars flows in every single day into the Bitcoin ETFs, every single market day in the US that is, we're starting to see quite a bit of upside pressure. And if you look at some of the trends, so you look at the normal things people see when retail's involved, so you look at like how many minutes of crypto YouTube people are watching, and it's very low compared to previous bull markets, and you look at the search terms, so crypto, nobody's really searching for it like they did in previous bull markets. There's a lot of pointers here, in my opinion, that this is mostly institutional money coming into these ETFs. Do you think this is all institutional? You should drop me a comment below if you think it's the big boys that are paying into these ETFs or if it's retail. I really think it's the big boys because none of my normie friends are asking me about crypto yet. So seeing these prices, my opinion is we're gonna be seeing all-time highs prior to the Bitcoin halving, which is unlike previous cycles. What do you think is gonna happen? So where do you think these things are gonna go? I think we're gonna see an all-time high prior to the halving. And then I don't know if things are gonna keep going up. It depends on if the money keeps flowing in. Now I know Peter Schiff would probably be having a really rough time right now because we're seeing this massive pivot out of gold ETFs and into Bitcoin ETFs. Again, in my opinion, from an institutional side, which is causing the gold price to fall and the Bitcoin price to go up. Is this all sustainable? I'm not really sure, but after the Bitcoin having the supply for Bitcoin is halved. That's the entire name of the having. <laughs> now, when it comes down to it, I really think all of the looking back at the previous four year Bitcoin cycles, I would say that this one's different. I don't want to look back and say, oh, well, this is gonna do this because this did this last time. I think we're at a fundamentally different spot than we were four years ago. With the institutional money flowing in, the ETFs are approved, there doesn't seem any institutional Ponzi's on the horizon and everybody's watching for them a lot better after the FTX and Celsius and all the other Ponzi's that fell over in the last few years. There doesn't seem to be any of those. It seems much healthier. And with the normies not talking about Bitcoin or crypto in general, where do you think things are going to be going? You should come join my conversation in my Discord at the link below. There's a whole bunch of us that are very like-minded. We love talking about crypto as well as all sorts of other tech-related interests. So where do you think these things are going? I really think the ETFs are good. They've been pumping, they've been bringing the Bitcoin price up. They do seem to be highly correlated, which I'm happy to see because that's one of those things that I've been questioning. How are they actually gonna to touch the chain? How often does it happen? Is it gonna be a shock every couple hours of trading day? I've had a lot of questions and the last couple of weeks have been very eye-opening. So I think things are on a pretty healthy trajectory. And I've told a couple of the people in my life that are into crypto, but not that into it. I've told them to tell me when they're going to buy because that's probably gonna indicate the top. So if you are talking to your normie friends and they're like, I wanna go buy Bitcoin, that's a top signal to me. The people that are in it now, I would say are the people that have been in it for a while. And those are the people that are gonna be enjoying the generational buy. Those are the people that have probably been taking advantage of these generational buy opportunities that we've been seeing over the last few years because things might not ever come down to the prices that we're at again. What's going on with real estate, the various currencies across the world. I don't know where this fiat thing is going. I don't know if Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of the other big altcoins are going to be the thing, but I know everything is fundamentally changing and it's going to happen slow and then all at once. So where do you think things are gonna go? I'd love your comment below because I'm always open to hearing other people's opinions. If I see someone that's super staunchly against me, I love hearing why and having a conversation about it because I don't have any sacred cows and I don't think you should either. We'll see you next time.